Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen. I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and it is Friday. So it's weigh-in day. Let's chat about my week and let's talk about this week's Weight Watchers workshop topic. So if you're excited, give this video a big huge thumbs up. Subscribe, turn your bell on because I do a weigh-in every Friday and I actually upload five videos every single week. Don't forget to check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching. I've lost and maintained 140 40 pound weight loss tracking macros and calories. I do offer personalized macros and calories. Highly recommend as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching to ask questions, to talk with me directly, or if you just need a little support and accountability. Links and discounts to my favorite things and my Facebook group. Come join us there. We would love to have you are all down in that description box. So let's talk about my week, my weigh-in, and the Weight Watchers workshop topic. Friday, friends. I hope you had an amazing, amazing week. When you see today's video, I'm actually in Hawaii. I left yesterday for a week-long trip with my girlfriends to Kauai, Hawaii. I am filming this video on Thursday because when you see this, like I said, I'm on my way to Hawaii. It's going to be a long day of travel. My flight leaves at 5 in the morning and I don't actually get to Hawaii until 3.30 p.m. Hawaii time, which is really like 6.30 p.m. my time. So it's going to be a long day. So send good thoughts, send good vibes for a positive travel day for me when you're watching today's video. Because I am in Hawaii, there will not be a weigh-in next Friday because I will have just returned from my trip. So I'll actually have a weigh-in the following Friday for two weeks and a post-vacation weigh-in. Now, if you remember last year when I went to Hawaii, I actually lost 1.8 pounds upon returning. My goal this year, like I've been saying, is to maintain my weight. We shall see what happens. I don't anticipate gaining weight on my vacation. Maybe I'll lose weight, maybe I'll maintain my weight. I would be happy with the maintenance. But just again, a reminder that there will not be a weigh-in this next Friday. So my week leading up to leaving for Hawaii has been really busy. It's always very chaotic for me to try to get out on a trip because I have to do a lot of pre-filming and then I tr have to try to get everything edited, thumbnails made, videos uploaded so that you have some content while I'm gone. And I did that again this last week. Week, really trying to get ahead on videos and get them ready to go. Luckily, I have a five and a half hour layover in Vegas on my way to Hawaii, so I plan on editing and uploading and filling in description boxes of videos and things there so that I can just enjoy my vacation in Hawaii. I packed all of my healthy snacks. I made sure that I packed my protein shakes for my protein coffee. I did pre-film a what I eat in a day that you guys will see this next Wednesday where I show you kind of how I navigate packing snacks and things for travel. That's a question that I get asked a lot is what do I bring when I travel to stay on track and to make it through the actual flight as well as staying on track and having healthy food while I'm on vacation. So we'll talk about that in Wednesday's what I eat in a day. I was able to get all of my workouts in. My foot is so so much better. I shared in my what I eat in a day this last Wednesday that I injured my foot. Getting old is rough. Getting old is really rough. Just simply tripping over a transition strip. I injured my foot, but it is 100% back to normal. I was able to get back to boot camp Monday morning and finished out my week of boot camp on Wednesday. Lifted weights yesterday before I headed out this morning. It was a good week. I feel like it was a very, very busy week and I'm really proud of myself for not only getting everything done, staying on track with my food and getting in my exercise. So I'm pretty proud of myself on how this week turned out and I am very much in need of a relaxing Hawaiian vacation. One more thing before we jump into this week's Weight Watchers workshop topic is make sure you follow me on Instagram and in my Facebook group. I am not vlogging my trip to Hawaii. I typically don't film my vacations. I just want to be in the moment and I want to enjoy my time with my girlfriends. We have tons of fun activities planned, including something extra, extra special. So stay tuned for that in an upcoming video. But if you follow me on Instagram and Facebook, you'll be able to keep up with me day to day. I'll be posting a lot on both of those platforms on vacation. Lots of pictures, lots of videos. You'll get to basically go to Hawaii with me on Instagram and Facebook. So make sure that you follow me there. Now let's chat quickly about the Weight Watchers workshop topic before we jump into my 
pre-vacation weigh-in. And this is how to be more aware of your eating habits and how it can help you. This is such a fantastic topic. The fact is, it's not only what you eat on a weight loss journey that impacts your success, it's also how and when you're eating these foods. We call this an overall eating pattern. What is your pattern when it comes to foods? Are you three meals a day, five meals a day? Do you eat on a schedule? Do you listen to your body? We all have a specific overall eating pattern, and that pattern can really help us with our weight loss journey or really hinder our weight loss journey. We really need to be aware of our meals and our snacks, and we want to spend some time really tuning into this. I would recommend two to three days a week, really tune in to how your eating patterns are going. What is your typical eating pattern like? What are your days like when it comes to your snacks and your meals? And you can also try this. Right before you eat a meal or snack, jot down the following. It's been blank hours or minutes since I last ate. Then your hunger level. My hunger level is A. Number one would be not hungry and number five would be starving, like you wanna eat your arm. And then I feel blank, content, energized, exhausted, stressed, bummed out, or other. Eat and track your food and then 30 minutes after, write it down a few more notes. The amount I ate was what I planned, less than planned, more than planned. Now my hunger level is at a one through a five. The speed in which I ate was a one through a five, one being slow, five being super fast. My mindfulness level was a one through a five, one you barely remember eating, and five you feel like you were dialed in to every bite. It's blank that I'll eat before my next planned meal or snack. Unlikely, likely, or not sure. So let's dive a little bit deeper. Let's think about this in a different way. Let's pretend that you're actually trying to save some money for an upcoming expense. Do you think you could actually do this without paying attention to how much, when, and where you're spending money? Probably not. And that goes for weight maintenance and weight loss as well. Sure, tracking your food builds awareness, but it's really just the beginning. You really need to deep dive and dig into other facets of food and your weight loss. What's really going on when you're craving a snack, a meal, or what's actually happening while you consume that meal and after that meal. And that's where these tips and tricks from Weight Watchers come in handy to really assess the situation, assess how you felt before you ate, while you ate, and after you ate. Just being more mindful and aware of when, how, and why you're eating. And then of course tracking your food is just the cherry on top. Your overall eating patterns really play a big part in your behaviors and again your success or lack of success on a weight loss journey. Eating slowly, waiting until you're starving to eat isn't necessarily the best thing. You would rather be, you would be better off fueling your body throughout the day, eating every two to three hours. Really paying attention to those hunger cues and those cravings and really decide are you hungry, are you thirsty, is it actual hunger? Is it head hunger? All of this plays a part in your overall eating pattern and is really important for you to not only learn your pattern, but improve your pattern for overall success. And as always, I want to share three fast facts from Weight Watchers with you. Number one, your eating pattern includes what you eat as well as how you eat. Number two, becoming aware of your eating patterns allow you to identify what's working and what changes you want to make. And number three, this can help you develop eating patterns that both set you up for success and that you can stick with long term. And like I always say, whatever you do to lose weight, you have to do that exact same thing to maintain your weight loss and this includes your eating patterns. Let me know down below, how do you feel about your eating pattern? Are you aware of it or is it something that you really need to think about and focus on so that you can be successful long-term? Let me know down below. Now let's talk about my weigh-in. Last week I actually gained 0.8 pounds, so just shy of a pound. It was an actual weight like we talked about last week. I had a little bit of a weight fluctuation, most likely based on foods that I was eating and soreness and kind of where I am hormonally and in the stage of my cycle. Now I, unfortunately, unfortunately for multiple reasons, I have started, I started my cycle right before I left for my trip, which is always a bummer when you're going to a tropical destination, but it is what it is. And typically leading up to my cycle, especially within the days, within the day or two before starting my cycle, I'm typically at my leanest. So when I weighed in this week, because it was right before I started my cycle, it was right when I started my cycle, I actually lost 0.6 pounds. So that 0.8 weight fluctuation last week is gone, all of it except for 0.2, which again, can be a weight fluctuation. Speaking of weight fluctuation, stay tuned for Sunday's video. You guys have been begging for me to do a video on what's the difference between weight gain and a weight fluctuation. So we are going to deep dive into that in Sunday's video. So again, make sure you're subscribed 
and your bells on. So I'm ending out my week. I'm starting my vacation with a 0.6 loss, basically making up for that little bit of a weight fluctuation last week, which pretty much means at this point, I'm continuing to maintain my weight. Now I have some really exciting things coming up when it comes to my weight loss journey and my fitness journey. I'll be sharing those with you guys as well in an upcoming video. I'm still putting the final pieces together, but I'm starting basically a new journey. I'm making some changes that are going to be beneficial for me where I'm at in my weight loss journey and my fitness journey. So again, stay tuned in a future video for lots and lots of updates. Now I want to hear from you guys. How was your week? Did you gain? Did you lose? Was it what you expected? And also let me know down below, what do you think your eating pattern is? And do you feel like it's healthy or could use improvement? Let me know everything down in the comments. And if you enjoyed today's video, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe if you're not, turn your bell on because again, I upload five videos videos every week and a weigh in every Friday. Definitely stay tuned for Sunday's mindful eating video. I will make sure I put nutrition coaching links and discounts to my favorite things, my Facebook group, my Instagram. So you can follow me along in Hawaii down in that description box for you. Happy Friday, friends. I hope you have an amazing weekend. I hope you have an amazing next week. As a reminder, there will not be a meal prep on Monday and there will not be a weigh-in next Friday, but I will have a what I eat in a day for you. We'll have a grocery haul. And of course, I'll have another special video coming your way sun next Sunday. You're not going to want to miss it. The Sunday after I return from Hawaii is going to be Epic. Thank you again for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you next time. Bye.